up? <sighs> How is your day going today? Okay. And we are off to start to another... Sorry, I got distracted. <sighs> to another great video. Okay. Now... Let's see what we should talk about today. Um... Hmm. There is a lot of stuff to talk about. I mean, again, I am sorry for not posting. I mean, it's only been a week, but... It's only been a week, but still. I do feel a little bit bad. Sorry, is there a glare? Okay. I do feel a little bit bad for not posting. Even that, not many of you all watch me still. I feel bad. Um... Anyway, um, let's see what is on the news today. Okay. So, um, okay, well, there's something about why this woman will never shave her legs again. <sighs> Where's that? Oh, shoot, no. I saw something that was really, like, really interesting, guys. I gotta find it though. Because this thing reposts like every five freaking seconds. So, yeah. Here it is. Okay. This one is called It's Not Glass in, in Tuna Can. So, this um, woman, um, I think she found glass in her tuna can, which is kind of creepy. It says, no, that isn't glass in your, in your canned tuna. Okay, let's see what it has to say about, about it. Okay. Why you shouldn't be alarmed by crystals in your canned tuna. Oh my god, look at the freaking picture. Oh my god. I wish y'all could see that picture. I don't know how to put it up on the screen, though. Like, I don't know how to put it up on the screen. Um, if one of you all could let me know, I will send you all the picture. Or I could just post pictures, like, during the videos. and Instead of, like, having just names of subscribers or something, just put their photo down and their name under it. So, if you all could help me with that, then that'd be good. Okay, so, let's see what it says. Okay. Earlier this month, New York residents, New York resident Stacy Peskin, Peskin, sorry for mispronouncement, Peskin was preparing her weekly salad of greens topped with tuna when she noticed something poking out of the pinkish meat. Clear, sharp pieces, what looked like glass, what, yeah, what looked like glass, but it wasn't just a shingle shard poking around with a fork. Peskin found them embedded through the bumblebee can's content. When Peskin emailed Bumblebee with her problem, I don't know who that is, it's probably a food person or whatever. When, yeah, when she emailed Bumblebee with her problem, the seafood company had other explan- had- I can't read. <laughs> had another explanation. They were- wait, there- they- oh my god. Okay, they weren't pieces of glass, but rather crystals chemically known as magnesium, ammonium, phosphate, hexastrate, hexarite. I will put that on the screen. It should be up there. Um, I'll put like all the ingredients of what it was. Often called struvite. These crystals are formed by the union of natural, normal, constitution. I, I can't pronounce stuff. Okay, found in all seed foods after they are sterilized in the can. Bumblebee told Peskin in the email, which she provided to Yahoo Food, these const um, that's the word I don't know, are material elements richly supplied by sea water in which the fish or 
shellfish live. These crystals can easily be mistaken for glass or plastic, although they more closely resemble crystals of salt. Ew. Food reached out to the Food and Drug Administration, which confirmed that Bumblebee's explanation could be true. The crystals occur naturally and therefore are not viewed as a food ad activity activities. <laughs> I cannot pronounce stuff. FDA spokesperson Laura Kotwicki told us adding that they easily break into pieces and dissolve during the process of digestion. And then there's some more stuff about it. Okay, so it turned out it wasn't glass. We all know that. It turns out it wasn't glass. And they were like little crystals that... And you know what? You all should know what magnesium is. I mean, it's in foods and... I don't know, like, drink, shampoo, like, believe it or not, it is. So, yeah. And you can find all these interesting stuffs on YouTube, I mean, on Yahoo. Like, it should be in the little picture area. Just hit the arrow and then you'll find tons of stuff. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool. Like, it seems, like, really stupid and, like, boring. But it actually is pretty interesting. And I don't even like reading or, you know, social studies or whatever. So, yeah, that's all the time I have for today. And I will see you all later. Goodbye.